Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again for another episode of The Factorio. We have, um, well, we have, we have progressed nothing since the last episode, but I definitely took some time to babble endlessly to myself. Um, I thought I was recording, and apparently I didn't. Super noob move, but I'm, you know, really good at that apparently. Uh, I, I, I thought I had the session going and I was, we were having a good time together. I, I'm very sure all of us were having a great time, and then, and then I realized I wasn't recording. So yeah, that was sad. So let's get into it. I, I realized I had ten more labs in my pocket that, that I had made, so we'll up it from the fifty to sixty labs now. So one, yeah, that's probably a decent ratio, anyways. A couple things uh, we I wanted to address. Ah, like that logistics system is now available so let's start right away by putting that in place actually before I do there was a discussion that I thought was very useful that people might uh, find helpful um, when you're discussing when I'm talking numbers here I, t I put 20 machines or er, assemblers in here right because the recipe says 20 seconds so if I want one per second production I put 20 factories in not quite accurate and this is something I know I've known the whole time but I kind of didn't think about one facet to it. This is a crafting speed of 0.75. So that means these 20, instead of making one per second, are making one every, uh, are making 0.75 of a unit per second. So that's okay because the thing that consumes them would be, uh, where is it? It's uh, down here, the yellow science. And it's also ratioed to um, two items per second which would require two low density structures, except for not quite because again, these are 0.75 ratio. You can see that over here on the right in the icon at the bottom, second from the bottom right, it says crafting speed 0.75. Now the, oops, pardon me, the assembler ones are 0.5 and I think the assembler threes are 1.25 or something like that. You never have a case, thank you factorial gods, you never have a case where something is a nice simple multiplier just doesn't happen right uh, so the only issue all of that I knew but what I wasn't paying attention to was I was then looking at the belt speed and saying well this input requires 20 units of copper one of these yellow belts would only have given me 15 items per second because we can see the belt speed on the right there at 15 items per second so if I had done this and said only one belt comes in here and do uh, you know something like this and that's only one belt it comes in and it splits between the two, it's only going to be feeding 15 items per second. It still is, but if you look at the assembly rate of these, because it's 0.75, it's actually um, only going to consume, instead of 20 per second, it's going to consume 0.75 of that rate, which is 15. So this would actually work. We're going to leave it, because if we ever upgrade it, we want it to work, but... I'm okay with that. I would like to kind of double those up, sp spread that back out so that uh, if this stuff starts getting sucked up later for something, then it's balanceable. What's going on here? Uh, oh, you're not powered. Well, that's unfortunate. There you go. Now you are. Uh, what else? Um, some discussions about uh, um, robo port size now it says to the east the comment was that to the east needs a fix up now i'm not sure if they were talking about this this is all walled in by cliffs the lighters won't even try to go at those um or were you talking about down here because the orange is the logistics round oh nice squeaking through one at a time getting blasted oh hey what's going on here oh you're out of fuel right yeah you we knew you were um so basically, uh, my, my, my question is, what exactly were you... Oh, there's a... That might have been what, what people were talking about, but... Oh, that's not... that That's a radar that's not working. Is that going to connect it? Yeah, that will. Good, I don't know how that, that got missed, but anyways. Um, there was some comment about the east wall here and, and fixing things somehow. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um... So research, right? We didn't we didn't add new research. I did that last time, but oops, and and it's not done. So let's go. This guy, going to be important, and that's going to unlock this beauty right here, which I think is what I want. And then maybe do I want to get my fusion? Uh, that's the Coverex enrichment. We have uranium tech, don't we? 
I think we do, don't we? Yes, we do. These science packs are after post-rocket science packs. Uh, mining efficiency is probably a really good idea. That's going to give us a 10% mining productivity. And I think we need to do that. Then after that, it goes infinite, but that's post-rocket infinite. Which I haven't decided whether we're going to do post-rocket in this one or not. We'll see. We'll see where things are at. I I'm liking the pace that things, that things are going at. I want to uh bolster this corner it always seems to need repairs and replacements so i'd rather not do the replacement thing there we go some extra guns um i like these cliffs they're beautiful uh you know what i'm gonna this is a lot of running let's put a uh let's put a walk path down here let's run a uh, a nice little oops bit of roading uh, why is that not removing? There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's put a little bit of a road down this way. Since we sometimes do travel it, uh, and we can connect this across. I want to actually make a uh, plan ahead to have a space in here that can be rails if we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and move this. I'm going to back this off. We put this in last time, but I'm going to take it back out and leave space for... They can just put those, yeah, they'll put the uh, the ones that were already built in there, they'll put them to use elsewhere. There's plenty still to go. Run this down to here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Collecting all my little friends. Now, uh, something else. Um, my, my brilliant genius uh, of a brain decided that the thing to do was to... Uh, Head all the way over to the left on the in the oil factory and and do a really good job of of stocking it with uh, we gave we gave it all it needs really with uh, as far as um, uh, making sure that it had all the equipment it could possibly need to do uh, what's it called uh, to do the to do its repairs and everything except for I didn't put any more repair bots back in there. So that was dumb. Let's uh, let's see. Where's the train? Ah, get off there! Woo that scared me with those things reactivating. Oh, that was free cash. Okay. Okay, off to McBride Station here. Uh, oh, we do have a little bits and pieces of fuel still in the line. I don't think those things are in. Oh, nice, nice kills. <laughs> Extra squishy kills. Uh, that brings some attention to the base, doesn't it? What what just got hit? A wall? Really? Well, that was a big hit. Well done, biters. Well done. Congratulations, little ones. Uh, so before we go any further, let's go ahead and uh, uh, maybe put half a stack in there. Right? We can leave like 25 robots up there and be like, hey, congratulations. What I did last time is I came up here and I put the the pods down, or the chests down with all the important things in them. <laughs> Except for didn't put any more robots so we had one robot very unsuc oh no i chased them the wrong way that's going to be damaging uh, back you go we're gonna have to swing right back up there and see if uh those things need to repay oh, 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 oh yeah that was that was way too much fun okay there we go. Now head him back off to the proper spot and see if we can squish a few more of them on the... Oh, that slows him right down. That could be very, very deathly. See, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. All that poison on the track. Hmm. Whoops. Well, we'll come back for it another time. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we had our oil set up last time. Our power system is uh, is working. I, if un, unreli or unimportant, please. 2.2 gigs right now of uh, of storage. A power storage that is auto save. Uh, are we trickling any? Why are we not putting any kraken down? Huh? No krakens. Uh, do we have fuel in there? feel like maybe I screwed something else up here. No, you're burning away. What what do we got for storage? Heavy is 2.4k, 19k, and 5. Okay, it's just sitting just below the threshold. That's fine. 
So enough stuff is going into petroleum and how are we doing? What are we what are we waiting on, guys? Are you oh you're delivering me some some uh concrete, huh? Not not that important, I don't think, guys. You can catch up. Uh well let me think about what we're gonna do next. Um Science is taken care of. I think we need, since artillery is in the works, let's have a look at what artillery is going to require. So there is artillery wagons. That's trains. That's basically sticking a train car, uh, which is fantastic. 64 engines. Jeepers. Um, that's a mobile artillery wagon, like, you know, post -sec late Second World War things that never really became a big deal. Uh, the artillery turrets... Doesn't take any engines, actually. Steel, gears, advanced circuits, and concrete. Okay, and artillery shells, explosives, explosive cannon shells, and radar. So we do need to definitely... Oh, and a processor and a radar. Okay, so we're going to need to set up some sort of uh, artillery um, manufactory. Manufactory. I'm not sure where, but we're going to need one. Wow, that is a lot of concrete being delivered. I really need to, like, manually pick up my concrete instead of make all these guys do all that work when I could just walk over and pick it up. That's 500 concrete that I'm asking for them to deliver to me. Jeepers, that's a lot. There's a lot of robots doing a lot of flying. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Everything is running okay. Just not at a very high volume is really the issue. We don't have a lot of red circuits. We never really will. <laughs> it's not something you, uh, you'll you generally see from me. We're not producing a ton of uh, blue circuits either. And I wonder if uh, those fire control units could just be... Hmm. Can those fire control units be very simply put together? What is the, where's the artillery for that? Oh yes, we don't have the tech for it, right? Uh, artillery targeting remote. So basically that lets us manually fire a... Um, cheapers. Look at the price on that. An oil processing unit... Sorry, it's distracted. An oil processing unit consumes 900... One blue... Circuit consumes 950 crude oil. Jeepers. Um, those let us specifically target something in a distance. Anything within the artillery turret's range will be automatically targeted and will not require that. So I think we might not overdo it on those. I think we'll start with uh, manufacturing artillery shells. Let's do that. Let's find a spot to manufacture artillery shells. And then once we've got our first artillery up, we can start placing it, say, up here and blast through, or over there on the east and blast through the sp space. That's not good. What's happening here? You got walls being taken out? Yeah, see, that's why we need to... Oh, what is going on? What is going on? Why are you not fueling? Yeah, I've got to get over there. Um, That's very weird. That was an uh, interesting squeak, squeaky bias. Not officially squeaked through, but we definitely went by. Um, I'd like to maybe set up... You know what would be really cool? Have a train track that just ran up and down here just for the sake of me getting around quickly. <laughs> Nothing else on it, just tracks with a train. And I can just run it on my own. <laughs> One facing in each direction, fueled. <laughs> that feels like the right thing to do. We'll do that in the future, though. Where was that... Where was that breach of fueling going on? Down here. Okay. Let's run around and get in there and see what's going on. Let us investigate the situation. Now, you guys are not transporting because you're out of fuel. Okay. Uh, I can do this and just fuel these things manually. Like that. And this just needs one piece of fuel in them because they get basically they got burnt oops they got burned out and didn't have uh, fuel to to reactivate them that's all it was 
It's, it's a weird situation with those fueled ones. I'd almost say that it'd be better in that case because to do these because they won't, aren't going to run out of fuel, right? So, I mean, if the fuel runs out on everything, then they're hooped big time, but it's less likely to happen in my books. there that's the way it's supposed to be okay um again you guys are out of fuel why oh because you're not supposed to be fueled at all because this has not been activated do we need to activate this steel we got a lot of backed up iron up here it's not doing much we could activate more steel and that would probably be a wise choice at this stage um what have we got we got red belt and a red belt so you could effectively do this um, and that and that, huh? Uh, if I put a red instead, a red underground, can we do that? That would split better. that and then I can continue with the red belt. Oh, I don't have red belt. I think I do. Why are you switching to yellow? I have red, but I told you... What? This is transport belts. Oh, that's regular transport belts. Oh, it is too. Okay, that, that's just the just the yellow in the bottom. Okay, got it. Uh, there and uh, there. There again. Nope. There again. Um, we'll connect that coal, or that power. Like this guy this way, this guy here. And uh, I think we'll do this, this. That goes there. You continue down here. We'll uh, feed that one from the top and add in um, power, power, power. There. <clears throat> there to here. That's the bottom line. There you go. And I'd like this to continue down here. We can do that. And we can do... Do 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 That. There, there. there uh, that's doing the job right you're feeding and you're going to feed at some point oh is that too far no uh, this by guys turn the uh, no what is this what's going on here uh, there feeding splitting stealing going Good. Now that's two, that's three times as much steel, theoretically, as before. So let's uh, bring him up to line. Now these do not need, uh, by any stretch, to be stretched. <laughs> they don't need to actually be all the way up because that's never going to be a full belt. We need five of these lines to get a full belt of, uh, of steel on here. Uh, let's pull this out. This is uh, more than a little old. There we go. All right. Uh, that's helped the steel situation a little, which was a bottleneck up top. Our coal is definitely not keeping up down here. <clears throat> um, what else? Do we put in another steel? Probably premature. Not that urgent. Um... What else? Artillery was kind of the focus. I wanted to get some artillery production going, but I came down here for what? I came down here to fix the coal situation. Right. So now we can head back up north. Um, let's go ahead and pave this. Uh, bottom or top? Pot, top. Uh, something in here. All the way across, sure. Is 
to this guy, no? No, somewhere up there. Like this. Oops. Okay. I like these paths. I don't know why I like them so much. It just feels good to have them in there. Okay, now I was, uh, let's, let's hop in our tank, because why not? Can I rocket fuel power my tank instead of coal power? That'd be awesome. There you go. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, get out. What do, what do we do with all my... We didn't auto-trash my ammo, did we? Where did where did I put it? Oh, okay. There. Alright. Now, let's see how fast that... Well, that tank accelerates almost like a very slow car. Oh, man, he is motoring. Listen to that engine. Just a putting away. Speed record. Oh, that was close. Just hit the water line. Alright, up top we go. Oh, wow. That was not cool. <laughs> oh, that was epic, actually. That was fan freaking tastic. <laughs> Whoops. Drake a boo boo. <laughs> that tank, it, uh, it doesn't turn so good. <laughs> I expected to be able to make that turn at that speed somehow. I thought that was something that would happen. <laughs> Dang. That was, that was some overkill. Okay. What was I coming up here for? Artillery. Right. So artillery shells are going to need uh, some 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 well, well thought through production. Uh, they are going to need explosive cannon shells, I believe. We just said, right? How you doing? You're eh, very barely started. You're going to need explosives, explosive cannon shells, and a radar. Radar is iron iron gears and electric circuits let's put that in iron iron gears and electric circuits do we have a radar station a radar making station yet I don't think we do right oh, we don't oh you know what we can put these other logistics chests in is there a specific way they were supposed to function or not I don't know I don't think so let's uh, let's make sure they get happening active Buffer and requester. Good. Active buffer and requester. Buffer does not need to be two chests or two things full. Actually, none of them really do. One is probably plenty. Uh, that's fine like that. Okay, good. Now, um, I'm sure, I'm sure I don't have radar in yet. No, no. Okay. So let's think about this. Where are we? What do we? We have space up here. I'm not sure if we're going to use this space. Uh, half a second to produce. So as fast as we can shove the crap in there, it'll make them. So it'll be super quick, and maybe we just make it and then we export it, fly it out somewhere. It's not a bad idea. Don't need that radar right in the middle of the base. Um. What do we have for space that would work for that? Iron. What did I say? Iron, gear, and green. Iron plates, gear, and green circuits. Gears. Gears. We got some gears. No. No. Iron plates, gears, and green circuits are right up here. Hmm. What if I did this, then? And that to there. And this guy just continues. Boom, done. And then we could put a uh, passive provider chest in. No, you're not making passive provider chests. You're making radar, please. Um, we can do this and that and power this baby. Uh, you know what? Over there instead, please. Thank you. Uh, and I think we can tell you to export. To a hmm, do we put you down to a logistics chest down here? I feel like that's the morally correct thing to do, but excessively unnecessary thing to do. Uh, we could do this. 
and this. Nope, nope, we're not going to make it. Not going to do all that fuss. We're just going to put it in. Uh, passive provider chest there. All good. Okay. Now you're going to make not an entire bucket full. That would be really sad if I did that. Okay, you're going to make one stack of them, two stacks of them. Um, we kind of actually have some space to work with up here, interestingly enough. So that's that's the first key. We need to make explosive shells, which are explosives, plastics, and steel. To make explosives, we need a chemical plant, I believe. Is that right? Yes, explosives come in a chemical plant. Sulfur, water, and coal. And things are getting damaged. And I'm betting that's because we're starting to see the greenbacks, no? Mm, not yet. Yeah, we are. There's some greenback right there. Look at that. Behemoth Biter. 3,000 health. Resistance is 12. Speed 64.8 kilometers an hour. Range of 2. Shooting speed 1.2 seconds. And physical damage of 90. Versus physical damage of 30 from the big biters. He is not a small step ahead. He is mammoth. He's slower. And he hits... You know, he's actually moves faster. He hits a little less often. 1.2... No, he hits more often. My goodness. Everything's more powerful about him. Substantially more powerful. And look at the armor. And the resistances. Jeepers. He's got explosive resistance. My goodness. Medium biters have four armor. Uh, big biters have essentially armor, physical res or damage, resistance. Um, eight. And there's 12, plus 12 for explosives. Jeepers, that is a beastly problem. Um, okay, so we're going to need coal. We're going to need sulfur. I'm wondering if we have to put this down here. Down, 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 way down south. Way down south. We're going to have to tend to this in the next episode. We've been uh, fumbly bumbling around with all sorts of things. Um, sulfuric acid is not keeping up because petroleum is actually a limit. We need to definitely upgrade our number of oil refineries. I think that's what we need to do. Just pump out another dozen or 10 or 20 oil refiners. We might uh, see a noted improvement in production. We don't use it very thoroughly yet. All right, so this is definitely going to have to be fixed. So let's see where we can build it down here, I suppose. Um, we may be able to do that because we can leach the iron off early. There's also iron over here. Okay. I'm not absolutely hating this idea. Explosives are going to be something we're going to have to produce a decent number of. They are a four-second timer to produce two explosives. So if we did uh, this sort of a build, something like what's in here, um, maybe... I'm uh, not really sure where we would put it. Probably down this far. Let's go down here. Um, and then they would be... Not that. They'd be switched to explosives. That's going to be water input, sulfur, and coal. So this belt has to have actually sulfur and coal on it. So it's going to be a downward belt. Um, and we can have water from this line. We have water here. And here. Do this to there and this to there. There to there. There to there. Grab a few pipes. We need to put in a cut here. So we'll come back and we'll uh, continue process of setting up the explosives works, which will include the uh, ever-coveted uh, cannon shells. Uh, but that'll be next episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and we will see you in-game.